are there any losses that that just fucking that when you get up in the morning you think about that one and it makes yeah. you just want to go running? You know, more or less the guys that talk about the Diaz fight tell me all the time, Diaz will beat your ass. They Diaz the, the 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 Nick, the Diaz brothers have the most incredible following, almost almost as incredible as the Conor McGregor following. The Colts, it is unbelievable. So they, uh, they just tell me all the time, you beat your ass again. Like, all right, well, bring his ass on because I'm ready, whatever. Well, you fought Nate, right? And the, the Nate Diaz fight, like, it seemed like you were having a hard time in the first round. Like, you had a hard time getting started. Like, that was a fight where, like, that dude talked a lot of shit to you. Um, yeah, I was... Like, you were emotionally... I'm not making it. Yeah, I'm not making it. He, he got in my head, and he yeah. got me. Yeah, absolutely. And that well, shit doesn't happen no more. No, everyone tells me, Croner's in your head, Dosano's in your head. So that was a, a lesson for you. A super lesson, man. Yeah, don't... don't. You mean... So let's let's take it back. You're talking about Rex Kondo, this guy, right? Oh, you see all the movies that people said, don't fight out of anger. Right, right. They say that for a reason. I mean, yeah. that's... So when I fight out of anger, I mean, that's, I was just... I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just... I sucked that night, and that's all there is to it. No excuses. The motherfucker beat me. Did you just get caught up in it? Like, I don't caught know. up in the the, uh, the emotions of, uh, like, all the shit he talked to you? He knocked your fucking hat off, oh, dude. Oh, God. How dare he? <laughs> yeah, Nate funny. Diaz can talk some shit. I'll tell you what. You know what? But I, as much as he talked, I I like like those guys. I like them, too. I really I like do. I mean, because there is no front on them at all they mm -hmm. are what you see is what you like yep. if i were to run into the diaz brothers out in the street we are fucking throwing down right. and there's no question i mean that's just who they are right. i mean they're you know so it's not like they put on this front this persona that they're big tough no right that's who they are 24 7 24 7 and yeah it's awesome to me you know i think right. i both of them I, I got nothing but respect for both so of them. so when you guys are all retired you'll have a drink together and be absolutely laughing about i'd have it. a drink with them now yeah I, I don't have anything i don't have like any animosity or any anger or hate towards either one of them i would definitely hang out with both of them you know and it sucks that fucking you know nick, nick. is in trouble with this whole marijuana thing this and thing is awful it's awful. it's awful and it just shows how bad the nevada state athletic commission is and they were angry because he took the fifth because he didn't want to sure. talk about it the fucking guy passed two world anti-doping agency tests right. two water tests that are blood tests they're way more accurate sure. than the fucking urine test that nevada state athletic commission gave him with quest diagnostics you know and nothing against quest diagnostics but that method of testing is not as accurate right so the dude was Within the the realm, I mean, he was he was legal. He passed, sure. and they try to steal. They're stealing money from him, and they're suspending him for five years. They're a fucking kangaroo court. That's hey, what man, they are. Five years, it's ridiculous. At any job, yeah. I mean, if I said Joe, you're off the air for five years, you're fucking ruined, man. Yeah. That's, I mean, that five you're irrelevant after um, almost a year. People in forget our sport. about you. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Not, if, if you're not, I mean, he 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 is. One of the names in the sport, absolutely. But I mean, five five years. He's getting older and well, older. And I older. think he's I mean, like thirty three or thirty four. How old is Nick now? Hold on, I, I want to say he's thirty two at least, right? So, five years. He's fucking thirty seven, and he's not doing any TRT. He's not doing shit. Sure, God you know? bless so, him. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, God bless him. He's thirty two. Yeah, I was right. So five years from now, it's over, man. Dude, like, when we were kids. When a boxer like hit his 30s, you're like, oh, he's 32, 33. Yeah. It's almost over. We knew it was almost over. Sure. But then the age of TRT came along, especially with MMA. Things got real weird. Sure. Things got real strange. Like you started to see guys like 36, 37, like Vitor having the fucking fights of his career, the best fights ever. You know, and the, these guys, the Diaz brothers, one thing you got to say about them is these fucking dudes take care of their bodies. Yes. They eat healthy as fuck. Nick's always eating all organic food. He eats real healthy. He's constantly in shape, constantly running. If this guy's smoking pot, he he's not he's not doing meth. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean he's yeah. taking care of his body. Absolutely. It's, it, it's not like he's doing steroids. It's not like he's doing something that's making him freakishly fast or ridiculously strong. It's actually you know? the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's the whole thing is it's it's so frustrating, man, that these clowns have any power over people like you. Right. It drives mm -hmm. me crazy. Yeah. It drives me crazy that people like you need these fools that have never been punched in the face, they've never been strangled, they've never fought a day in their life, and they're the ones that get to decide what happens to you. Well, they're the ones who get to tell Nick Diaz he has to sit out for five years. Yeah, but they're the pencil pushers of America, man. They're the people that in high school didn't, 
you know, I, I feel like those are the, those are the guys that now they have something to prove. Now, now he's high and mighty, you know, and it, maybe you know, but but there's a lot of pencil pushers that are good dudes, you know, it's are good women. It's not sure. the problem. The problem is people in positions of power that are accustomed to that position of power, and then they treat it like they're a fucking king or a queen. They, they're tyrants. Uh, the world of professional athletes is so short that it's even more frustrating when someone gets like if you're an accountant and they suspend you for five years, you know, hey, you could always get a job doing something else. And then five years from now, you get reinstated as an accountant. But when you're an athlete, you got this short window i mean i think nick started fighting when he was 18 um so you know he's 32 now he's got a few years left at max yeah max max i mean it's conceivable that he could come back at 37 since he does take care of his body maybe it's maybe That's it's a tough comeback years. i mean what, very you, tough what comeback. you financially what yeah. are you doing right you're accustomed to a lifestyle that mm -hmm. you've been fighting i am at least yeah Oh, I mean, for sure. I, I'm a super degenerate with my money. Everyone knows that. It's nothing. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, what if I were to if, if something happened to me today? I don't know what I'd do. You would have to go on the road and start doing seminars. But you're a, because of your style and because of Nick's style, you guys are both really well loved. Like if something like that happened with you, you could go, do seminars and make a few grand every weekend. Maybe, maybe not in Dublin. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> maybe but not in yeah. Dublin. Once you guys fought, you could do it. If you and Connor fought and, and duked it out, had an epic contest, then you could do it. You know. Uh, I'm just a big stick in the mud. Or if you you beat them a couple times decisively, you'd have to beat them to, where they have to just give in. They'd have to say, "All right, you had to beat them. You beat them. Beat them." <laughs> but if you fucking cut down to 145. <laughs> You'd never uh, touch him. Fucking Connor. He's man. Like, look, man, I appreciate the fuck out of what guy, that guy's doing. He's getting eyes on the sport. Yeah, he him is. And Ronda. He, he really pisses me off. I feel like to tell him of when course. he was in the fucking press conference, I wanted to rip him so bad. Of course. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to be like, you know what, Connor? You can blow me like a cup of hot soup, you son of a bitch. But blow me like a cup of hot soup. How does that work? <laughs> you blow on the cup of hot soup? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. I don't, but if he just blows you like that, that's why it's confusing. The vernacular is really odd. Like, blow job. I don't understand where that came from. Uh, right, it's enough. very, blow me like a cup of hot soup. First time. First time, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I've never heard that one before. I've been around. It's <laughs> Blow me like a cup of hot soup. But the fucking guy, look, what he said to Dos Anjos, that shit was hilarious. Right. Like, you know, he's like, if you get a fight with me, you've made it. Yeah. You call to your wife, honey, put on the fucking red panties. We made it. Come on. I, I appreciate the fuck out of that mm -hmm. dude's shit. His shit talking game is better than anybody. It is. He's the best ever. Yeah. I mean, I, and he, Nick Diaz is right because, you know, like, what his antics inside the octagon, like Nick's antics inside the octagon, fuck with a lot of people's heads. Sure. Like, the first fight with Robbie Lawler, like, I remember there was the first time I ever saw Nick talk shit. It was the first fight with Robbie Lawler. Robbie was dangerous. So Very Nick, dangerous. So Nick took that shit talking to DEFCON 5, <laughs> and he got into the octagon. <laughs> And the first thing he does, he gets into the octagon. He looks over at Robbie. He goes, Stockton, motherfucker. Stockton. And he starts walking around. Stockton, mother. And Robbie's like, what the fuck is he talking yeah, about? What does that even mean? Yeah, exactly. And then the entire time the fight is going on. Like, what, bitch? What you going to do, bitch? What you going to do, bitch? And then he hit him. Oh, bitch, I just stung you, bitch. And he'd be popping him. And every time and Robbie Lawler didn't talk back to him. But you could clearly see he, was not, he didn't anticipate that. But I, I don't. And as far as Nick and Nate go, I don't know if that's like a game plan that they're that's just like their real that's life. Just them. Yeah. Like I think if they were on a the street, they'd be like, What oh, bitch yeah. talk like oh, that's yeah. that's like real yeah. life talk. Like that's yeah. what they know. But it, it's like, still what, like bitch, uh, like that that's 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 them that's them being them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is still a psychological <laughs> sure. tactic. It's an excellent tactic. And and, and do you Anderson think Silva it fucked Anderson Silva's sure. head up, dude. You some bitch laid out on the mat. Yeah. He laid down like <laughs> this. <laughs> Like, you like you he gotta was love bored, him, and he's yeah. taking a nap, yeah. fighting the greatest pound for pound fighter in the history of the sport, and he lays down, and then he gets up with his hands down, like what, bitch? Yeah, what, bitch? It's fucking. And he didn't do any of that leading up to the fight, which was even more fucked up, because I don't think Anderson expected it at all. And then when he was in there talking <laughs> shit to him, you could see Anderson just, like, moving around and not doing anything, frozen, oh, and, you know, man. thinking about, like, there's a great thing to What, bitch? And Anderson had never experienced that before. Man.